Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Benches Ghosts of New Eden. We are on the way back to Caleb. Reinforcements! Look out! I don't want to aim at you, I want to... Oh. Anyways, I wanted to... Do something against the shooty ghost. But I was not able to see her. Or him. Because it took over the body, maybe? Anyways, up there was a greenish ghostly figurine. Um, what I find funny, confusing, no, that's my mind, right? I for a second thought that that was the bridge and somehow, because we shot it already down, I was for a second confused that why. Not. I suspect this beyond me. It's not, but we agreed you won't need it. Besides, Caleb's work was poor. Your work is good. A ritual like that. Good is not a word that comes to mind. I for a second thought, why is it not, why is it lifted again and not down? And was thinking, did the save game or by saving something not be set again right? I don't know. Okay, anyhow, it was just my, not my bad side, but that I, it was either the angle or I was not seeing it correctly. Maybe both. All right, Caleb, buddy. Let's have a chat, shall we? We Gosh, shall. Now. All is well. Nothing bad will ever come to us again. Shite off. We've been to God's Acre. Quite a tale it told us. You're not Caleb, are you? Or at least not entirely. Ah, can't fog you. Alexander Watson. Long tale short, Caleb tried to bring his dead wife back. And I live here now. So many questions. Where to even start? He was trying to bring his wife back. How did you end up in the mix? Caleb made a fine cobbler. A poor brother. A worse husband. And a truly terrible witch. The ritual went to shite, because, <laughs> of course it did. <laughs> Do both of you share Caleb's body? Share? <laughs> no. This house of flesh is mine. But because I am a generous man, I allow my brother to live in the cellar. We were twins. I was the rotten half, they said. But who's the rotten half now? There's something else you should know. If you don't know it already. I'm not alone. I completed the ritual. My darling Ruth is in here too. You died trying to save Ruth from a burning house. True. True. I'm sorry. There's an awful way to go, and so young, too. You deserve better. We deserved better, and now we have it. And with it, Caleb gets to make amends. For he did nothing. He stood and watched us burn. <laughs> Caleb's name was ruined then. We're just putting the boot in. Caleb was no saint, but this is hellish grim. Does he deserve it? Aye, he does. And it's not like I killed him. He's alive in here somewhere. Watching me ruin his name. He can hear me now. Destroying his reputation. As I had to hear him destroy mine when he painted me a fornicator. How oh, nice. He took our love! 
Ruth and mine, and killed him. Now our love's reborn, and he can do naught but sit and watch. Caleb was a cat. Shite on him. Let him suffer. You used the ritual to bring Ruth's spirit into Caleb's body. Why? Love moves a soul to strange endeavours. We deserve a better life. I set myself to claiming it. I understand your anger, more so your desire. But what of Ruth? Did you consider what she wanted? Caleb stole a life from me. But he also stole Ruth's voice. She shrank beneath him. Of course she wanted a second chance at life. I'd like to hear this from Ruth. May I please speak with her? No! We've carved ourselves out a little happiness at last. I'll not have you break it. Please, leave us alone. Give us this. We need to speak to her, one way or another. If he won't tell us anything, Perhaps the house Ruth died in will. You're well placed to see what goes on around here. Help me out. Have you seen anything noteworthy? I've made a point of keeping people away, but I, I seek things. And I take note. Lammy Haskell. Any thoughts about him? The Haskell boy? What about him? Is weird. Talk with Caleb about nonsense. Both of them were full of shite. What's your take on the governor? My brother gave him the glad hand act, and the governor lapped it up. Askell's opinion of himself is far too high. To win his favour, you need only prop him up. He dragged my name through the dirt. Shite on him, and his so-called eloquence. What use is a silver tongue when your heart is yellow? Tell me about folk here. Who stands out for you? What think you of them? What think I of they who shunned me? Gold, my, my black-mouthed brother. What think I of malicious fools for whom I had to die to be redeemed? I'd say a curse upon them. But tis too late. The curse has already come. How goes the settlement, would you say? It's going to hell in a shitting handcart. Not that I care, mind. But there's sport in guessing who shall live and who shall die. Hope they find that witch, though. Can't have witches about the place doing the devil's work. I'll be leaving you alone, for now. Alone? <laughs> Not really. Hush now. All is well. Nothing bad will ever come to us again. Aha. Uh -huh. Ruth and Alexander are having an affair in her husband's body. I'll not judge. Not how much I want to. Something feels wrong. Something about Ruth. If we find the ghost tie, we can talk to her. Yep, and the burnt house, burnt down house is this house one. Burned down. The roof fell in with them inside. There's a lot of debris. But that's what I wondered before, right? In one of the last episodes, how are we supposed to get into said house? I'm not... Yeah, the elevator we can't use as of yet. It's still locked, which is fine. There should be... Find a way into the house. Thank you. I 
can't be moved. Wards, you're on your own. I can't climb up. Can't move through. What the hell am I overseeing? Do I need to shoot something? Is there a way to jump? There's no way to jump over. Is there a way around to the outer edges of town? Be shot. I for a second thought I might move this car to go up somehow. Take care. The place is warded. Yep. I will see. There is something I believe we could not do before that thank you and that is hopefully probably gonna then lead us to the backside and then into the house I do have that let's find out impressive. most definitely impressive yes most definitely Can climb up. Good, good, good. And that is then bring us to the back side of the house. And at least now we can enter the house. That feels quite good. At least I. Th yeah, okay. That would have been a little bit embarrassing if we could have not moved into the house. Okay. First of all, up and then down. Right. Okay. That is a dead end. Okay, I did not expect that the ghostly implosion explosion is gonna go through the through walls. That is makes sense on the other hand, right? Incomplete books, book of birds, a beautiful homemade illustrated comp um, compendium of the birds of New Eden, completely with uh, feathers found to match the drawings. Complete, not white. Two pages are missing. There was bone breaker grow and. Herring. This Doll. one shows real sensitivity. Caleb? Maybe. Not Alexander. I suspect we've just learnt a little about Ruth. Bruce burnt journal. Caleb and I had another discussion this morning. I went walking and caught him sobbing in the garden. When I came back, he apologized and I took that badly too. His kind, he's kind and romantic and listens well, which is why I married him. But I am sometimes uncomfortable. He's my husband and I am his wife, a woman to be loved and not an icon to be worshipped. Somehow... I'm still overseeing something, right? Okay. 
Okay, but guys, that is then already right now. Bringing us to the end of today's episode. In the next one. Ah, wait a second. Wait a second. One thing I want to check. Can we move the cart and then go into the chest and at least find today the reason for or what the, 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 the related item we find here. Are you movable? Yes. Okay. I did not thought about that when I climbed up because of the sticks in the back. Okay, still not what we need to find. Then I'll let future psychic actually worry, uh, worry about it. And that is then right now gonna lead us already to the end of today's... Wait a second. Episode. One last thing I'm gonna check. I'm sorry. Sometimes I am intrigued too. Not always, but sometimes. But that won't be... We've already been here, so that's... Again, for nothing. Okay, guys, that is then really the end. And you know it, I, as usual, really, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have in enjoyed this episode then please give me a little tinsy thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully and hopefully i see you in the next be it is bugging me so hard by the way that i Time must be nearby okay Ruth Watson's heart. Uh, with that human heart, it once belonged to Ruth Watson. The tie is dosed with the essence of its ghost. Once the closure has severed the ghost bond to the world, this essence will be automatically consumed by Antia to make her stronger. Of course. Ruth's heart binds them like a bushel of rotting corn. You! What do you have there? Stop right there, you rank rump! Whatever you found, it ain't yours! You buried Ruth's heart in the ashes of the house that killed her. I find that odd. You, a ghost, went digging in the ashes of a dead woman's house. You're ill-positioned to call me odd. Don't think I haven't felt your presence before. Stow your tongue while I speak with Ruth. Ruth, can you hear me? Can you speak? Puck off and die! I'm in charge here! No! Hush ye, Alexander. I'll speak. I'm Ruth. I hear you. I'm Antea Duarte. We're here to help. Oh, I'm glad. Please, end this nightmare. Help me. Oh, go to hell in a bag of shite. We're fine. And you have not the right, you hear? You've not the right. Okay, but guys, that is then the next episode. I wish you a wonderful day. If you have not yet subscribed, please, guys, um, consider subscribing. Consider giving me a thumbs up. That would mean the world to me. And for now, I wish you really, really a wonderful day. Stay frosty. Bye.